بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم و به این از تاین هزار بخند عزیز و اکرامی جارب با سلوان آزرین جلسه اعضای محترم سکتور و خصوصی مندبان محترم نهادهای مختلف حکومتی و غیر حکومتی و دونر السلام علیکم و صحبه همه شما بخیر Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, distinguished friends from ASCC, from ABC, ABA, other friend organizers, CWI, dear businesses, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and good morning. It's a great honor for me to present the leading private sector organization of Afghanistan, ACCI, at this important conference. ACCI is honored to be one of the co-organizers of this summit, and hereby I would like to thank CWI, Afghan American Chamber of Commerce, and Afghanistan Federal Association for this excellent Got this mid-January we participated in a similar meeting in Dubai to discuss different economic and investment issues including the challenges and opportunities of the Afghan economy. Since then Afghanistan has witnessed some determining developments which shed more lights on translation period and the international <coughs> com committee's commitment beyond 2000. The Afghan-U.S. strategic agreement approval by Afghan parliament and NATO members agreement on continuing their support for funding and training the Afghan army and Chicago conference helped reduce doubts on impacts of the transition. Meanwhile, the, the upcoming Tokyo conference and daily summit will significantly increase hopes regarding the future of Afghanistan and will result to future investment and businesses. We have already witnessed evidences of businesses and investments revived. But ladies and gentlemen, the political commitment and support to Afghan security forces shall not work without economic development. As well as we all have witnessed, the biggest gap in the last 10 years was the lack of necessary emphasis on economic aspects of Afghans' problem. Therefore, we firmly believe that in addition to the political developments, there should be enough support for trade and investment so that real change will occur. The construction and supply chain management is one of the major issues that need to be addressed in order to nurture and a growing and dynamic economy in Afghanistan. Afghanistan is an untapped and untouched market with huge potentials and resources in mining, agriculture, energy and infrastructure. In order to develop a vital, growing and competitive economy, these resources should be utilized and streamed through a value chain that will create more jobs and bring more prosperity for the people of Afghanistan and the region. During the last decades, the construction sector has significantly grown and now it is one of the major strengths of our economy. We have very successful construction companies and there are a significant number of skilled laborers and a lot of equipment in this field that will help further develop this sector. Meanwhile, construction business opportunities are growing and international companies can enter to this market separately or through joint ventures with Afghan companies. Also, there are big opportunities in procurement and transportation fields. Fortunately, today, many decision making nations and international authorities are present in this conference that gives a very good opportunity to discuss and exchange views on the subject of the event. Afghanistan, because of its important regional and international role, is subject to develop. 
The recent years development have proved that the regional, the general recognition of the need for a regional cooperation is increasing. Therefore, we expect that Afghanistan will become one of the major players of the regional trade and investment. It's worth mentioning that Afghanistan is already an active member of major regional and international economic organizations such as ECO, SAR, RECA, KEREG, and Shanghai, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. We are also on the verge of joining the WTO. There are big construction and development projects underway, and these projects need proper cooperation among national and international stakeholders. We believe those who risk, who risk being among the first will surely get their rewards in this growing market. ACCI's trying as best properly present the interests of the private sector. Besides providing necessary services for the development of the private entrepreneurs, we also strive to improve, together with our national government, the, the enabling environment, and improving the, the regulations and, and the, the laws to attract more investment and have more business-friendly uh, legal framework. Once again, I would like to thank the organizers of the conference and, and those who have come to contribute in our successes through their productive ideas. Wishing you all the best. Thank you very much.